So, Joel, um, I guess the last question for you right now is, um, we talked earlier about uh, dancing, um, how you integrate dancing into the retreat. So, uh, what what's the importance of dancing to you? Uh, so first, then, what is dancing? Everything is dancing. The vibration is dancing. The sun is dancing. The wind is dancing. The cells are dancing. The stars are dancing. The planets are dancing. The fish are dancing. The birds are dancing. Everything is dancing all the time. Sound is dancing. Language is dancing. Memory is dancing. Everything is dance. Life itself is a dance. It's not a race that's coming to some finish line. It's not a, a puzzle that has to be fixed or a broken toy or something like this. But it's simply a dance. So it has no purpose. It has no goal. It just is what it is. So the first thing is to see on a very deep level that everything is a dance at every level. Form, energy, time, space, each individual, the blade of grass is dancing, the different cells in the blade of grass are dancing, the different molecules of the blade of grass are dancing. Without a question, without a doubt, absolutely everything is a dance. So <clears throat> after years of intensive uh, inner like um, meditation practice, sitting practice, still doing the asana and pranayama, taking care of the instrument, but mostly in this deep inner stillness. And I, I realized that, that we have to find that same uh, flexibility that we have with that freedom of the mind, but it, in the body and the cells and the movements of the, of the structure of the body. So that's when I started to experiment with different forms of improvisational movement. Uh, contact improv in five rhythms specifically, then group motion and later Bhutto, which is training in Bhutto. And this, um, the experiments and exercises we do it with the kinesthetic, with the body movements and, uh, and playing with gravity, space, uh, expansion, contraction, uh, leaning, falling, lifting, all of these basic things then help to to decondition our fixed uh, human habit movement patterns which are creating uh, limitations in our mind and, um, and emotions as well. So the dancing moves such deep energies within us that we can't get through being told what to do. Like even asana is like you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong, you know, like that. Whereas the dance comes from within and the energy is moving from its own, in its own way. So tapping into this, what we call authentic movement, or to be able to express ourselves from a deeper place than in the thinking mind. So the dance is really 